Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all what I have packed in Berkeley's diaper bag and what I have in my hospital bag. I want to first off start off by saying that these bags are both from a company called Fond Design. And this is the original style in the color blush. You can wear it as a backpack. It has straps back right here for the backpack style, or you can just wear it over your shoulder. Like this. And this is my preference. So what I do is I just um, unhook the clips from here for the for the backpack style and I just stuff them in here. And then my hospital bag is from Fond Design as well. This is called their weekend bag. Perfect size for a hospital bag. So I was like, let me go ahead and snatch that up. Of course, this is in the color blush as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out showing you guys what I've packed in her bag. Let me just go ahead and jump right here. Okay, so starting off, when you open her bag, this is how it looks. I also purchased just the change and clutch from Fine Design as well um, in the color blush. So basically, what this is is it's a clutch that you can just carry around like this on your wristlet if you don't want to take in the entire diaper bag, or you can just pretty much throw this inside of your purse. So inside of the change and clutch, it has a changing pad I'm not going to open it but it's she has a changing pad and then I just have a few diapers in here and then wipes so that's in her diaper bag it's not necessarily for our hospital stay but just to have in her diaper bag in general the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this little clear um, bag that I have in here and this is holding all of her socks all of her bows she has so many bows her little hat i have her wine and rose pacifiers to coordinate her outfits so i have three pacifiers in here and then i also have more bows and then her wine and rose pacifier clips that will be coordinating with her outfits i'll be coordinating I'm going to be coordinated with her pacifiers from Ron and Rose. Um, and then a little brush so you can style hair. So this is going to be her first outfit. So the day she's born, I plan on putting her in this onesie. It's a pink, excuse me, it's a pink onesie. It has balloons on it. And it's a yay, it's your day. So this is going to represent her birthday outfit just like a footed little onesie and what I decided to do was pair it with this purple bow and y'all I was so serious about coordinating these outfits to the teeth. This black, I think this is called the Nova Clip from Ryan and Rose. This black Nova Clip with her black so this will be um, her birthday outfit. So cute the day she's born. I cannot wait to see her. This is so cute. Second outfit. This is going to be, we got this from our baby shower, y'all. Um, look at this little tutu. Isn't it so cute? This is actually just going to be for pictures. So we'll take pictures of her in the hospital. Um, in this little tutu and it has a matching onesie it has her name on it. it says Berkeley and then it also comes with this bow that matches and it comes with these little um, things you put on her feet to look like kind of like little sandals so that's what she'll wear and like I say, this is just for pictures, so she'll be in it probably 20 minutes at the most. I have this little outfit just for her to be comfy in at the hospital. 
little, it's like a little uh, gown. It actually can snap and turn into a onesie as well when you unbutton it here. Um, but I have it in the gown style right now. So she has this and it has the little matching socks to it. And then I believe, let's see, what do I have to match with that? Oh, I got her hat to match with it as well. This hat looks kind of small though, honestly. So if she can't fit this hat, I do have a backup bow for her to use. With that, I believe I have, okay, yeah. So I got a pacifier and a clip to coordinate with that as well. All of these clips from this company, they have um, style names. Um, I'm not sure which one this is called, but I just know it's the pearl color. So the beads on here, they actually, um, they look like pearls. So I have that with just a white pacifier for her to use. So this is how it looks. I'm not sure exactly how long we're gonna be staying at the hospital um, because for one, I had a, I know I'm having a C-section again. Um, with Dallas, I stayed in the hospital three nights. It could have been two, but they kept me an extra night for something. Um, but with everything that's going on with all of these hospital restrictions and everything, I've been reading that they have actually been discharging a lot of people sooner just to get them out of the hospital so they won't be exposed to everything that's going on right now. Yeah. This is another outfit. It's just a white onesie, solid white onesie, but we have this cute, cute Elmo swaddle. Isn't that so cute? And this came from Crate and Barrel Kids. So, yeah, Dallas actually picked this one out because um, we ordered them in a pack of three. So, I think it was Oscar, Cookie Monster, and Elmo. So, Dallas picked out Elmo. So, she'll be wearing this with <clears throat> I couldn't really decide which bow I wanted her to have initially I picked this bow because it matches Elmo's nose I think that's really cute but just in case I have a red bow as well so I got that this red and wood clip this red pacifier just another outfit that I have for her in case we need it just a little simple onesie, mini mouse onesie, and a mini cap. And then this is so cute, y'all. I got this little shirt. It says the boss is here with these little pants. And of course, um, where's her bow? Her pink bow. And this is her coming home outfit. It says little sister. And I have this bow to match. You'll also be wearing the white and pearl pacifier with that. And we have burp rags. So one, two, two burp rags. We have receiving blankets in here for her. These are her bags. These are the receiving blankets. And I have this cute reversible Betsy Johnson blanket that I have. All of these blankets are not really necessary, but I'm pretty much taking these just for like photo props and all of that. Just for of her. So this is like one side of it and then this is the reversible side. I believe that's everything I have in here for her diaper bag. Um, the hospital provides milk, diapers, wipes. Um, they actually do provide, you know, like blankets, the clothes she'll be in after she's born. Probably like a little t-shirt or something. Um, so I really didn't feel the need to pack all of that stuff just to have it in her diaper bag for the hospital but eventually of course we will put all that stuff in there once we get home 
but since I just have all of these extra blankets and all of these outfits in here I just was like it's no need to put all of that in here right now for this moment. Okay so moving on to what is in my hospital bag. Okay so the first thing that I run across is my word fund book. I love doing crossword puzzles y'all so I put this in here to keep me entertained while at the hospital. Um, I have a robe, a lightweight robe. This is not the one that I usually wear around the house. I'm usually walking around in Charles's big fluffy robe. Um, but I just got this lightweight one because Um, I have an uh, extra toothbrush. I have some comfy high waisted tights. I will be having a C section, so while packing my bag, I was trying to keep in mind stuff that would not be on my incision. So these are good. And then I have just a, oh, this is Charles. This is one of Charles's shirts. A t shirt. And then I have a, another one of Charles's shirts, just a big t-shirt with some sweats, just real simple, you guys, so I can be comfortable. I don't even know if I'm going to actually be putting this stuff on, because um, when I packed my hospital bag originally, this was actually probably months ago or maybe a month ago when I packed my hospital bag. I was keeping in mind having visitors. As of right now, my hospital does have really serious, strict restrictions. Well, Charles is the only one that could be at the hospital with me. Um, so when packing my hospital bag, I was trying to keep in mind, you know, stuff where I can be covered up if we have a lot of company or if we have visitors there. But at this point, I may just be in the hospital gown or these other gowns that I have packed because it's just gonna be me and Charles. Dallas can't even come to the hospital to visit us or to see Berkeley. My mom can't even come, just my spouse. So, um, as far as other clothes, I ordered these. Um, these are like t-shirt dresses or gowns, whatever. I ordered these, so I have this red one. Just so comfortable. Like, I literally wanna unpack one of these and like, wear it now because I can wear one of these with some cute tennis shoes or some sandals and then I have a black one just like it but I bought these specifically for the hospital so again real loose real you know comfy flowing items since I will be having a c-section and I don't want anything on my incision and then for my coming home outfit I have just this um this um, romper, jumper, jumpsuit. It's really loose and wide fitting. It's actually um, a K Bella's item that I carry. I think it's from the last collection that I launched before pausing my business when I got pregnant. So this is gonna be my coming home outfit. Just really comfy, really lightweight, loose um, jumpsuit. And then I have these I bought. These are going to be for um, my shower shoes. I absolutely hate public restrooms. I mean, the hospital, I consider that like a public restroom because it's not my restroom. And I hate taking showers, so just the thought of having my feet on somebody else's shower where so many people have been showering, I've, I've had some shower shoes. And then these are my slippers for the hospital. These are so comfortable, y'all. Like, I was wearing these maybe for a few days once I got them before I actually packed them in my hospital bag. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so ready to have this baby so I can start using these every day because they've just been packed up since I bought these specifically for the hospital. The hospital, um, after you have a baby, I'm assuming it's the same for a vaginal delivery, um, G 
just like a c-section they provide you with pads and underwear like these mesh underwear um, but I was reading a lot of reviews and a lot of people said that um, the pins were good um, I don't know if that was just for c-sections or just after delivery period um, but of course you, you're gonna experience bleeding after having a baby regardless if you have a c-section or a vaginal delivery so this time around I bought the pins um just in case i'm definitely going to be using these once i get home but um i packed them just in case you know i didn't like the type of underwear or whatever because i am delivering at a com completely different hospital than i did seven years ago with dallas so every hospital i'm sure they have different products but it's pretty much the same thing so this is just more of a preference thing to pack these in my hospital bag, but I definitely will be using these um, once I get home. And then I also have um, a long extended foam cord. I think this is probably like nine feet. So a charging cord, cord for my phone. I have socks. I have socks that I bought a bra just a sports bra I think I have another one I'm supposed to have a Nike sports bra here as well but I don't see it um another pair of socks here they are right here toothpaste little travel size toothpaste deodorant and I brought my own body wash um, I still didn't put my face wipes in there, but I'm using those right now. And my lotion. And that's pretty much it. So, since we've concluded um, what's in our bags, I'm going to just go ahead and just show you guys um, some additional things that um, was helpful for me when I had down. This is the Boppy Pillow. I do not plan on breastfeeding. I know a lot of people will take these or use these for breastfeeding, but this was very good for actually propping the baby up um, to take pictures or just to sit her there um, you know so you don't have to hold her the entire time so I am going to be taking the bobby pillow with me also I have my purse packed with another word fine book um, and snacks y'all oh my goodness so we were actually just at the hospital a few days ago. Um, I was at the hospital for six hours and um, we didn't have any snacks. And like I said, the hospital is on a really strict lockdown right now. So I can only have one guest with me and he is not allowed to leave except for one time. But it has to be before 6 p.m. or he will not be able to come back into the building. So we had to go and get snacks to stock up on. So we have cheese it. These are my favorite almonds. So these are Blue Diamond um, Habanero Barbecue almonds. Beef jerky. Have this whole bag. Reese's thin. Jolly Rancher um, water packs that you put like in water. Jumbo honey bun. Pop tart bites. So just, you know, a few snacks, um, hopefully we won't have to stay that long, but in the meantime, you know, we will be having to eat food um, from the hospital, so by no means is this our meal, this is just snacks that we need, because I was there for six hours, and well, they did provide me with some graham crackers and peanut butter, but I'm like, I need my own snacks, because, no, that, that was just not here. Yeah. Just wanted to give you guys a little, um, you know, sneak peek of what I'm packing in my hospital bag and in Berkeley's bag um, that was really helpful for me um, as far as I can remember from when I delivered seven years ago. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can see what other content that I post and turn on your notifications. Um, until next time guys, bye.